Despite already having an extensive lineup of electric smart scooters, this Taiwanese company keeps innovating by producing new models and updating the existing ones. Their 2 Series lineup was one of the latest to receive significant updates in the form of special editions named 2 Premium and 2 Delight, as well as high performance modification with the S2 nameplate. Just like before, the base models of the 2 Series range have specifications comparative to regular 125cc two-wheelers. They're equipped with highly capable electric motors with 7.0 kilowatt power output and autonomy estimations of up to 105 miles. Special edition packages introduce unseen before color variations of the dashboard and body panels, ABS braking system options and a performance upgrade like that of the S2 model. The S2 performance model is capable of reaching the top speed of 57 miles per hour and can sprint from 0 to 30 miles per hour in just 3.8 seconds. Niu Scooter Manufacturer has recently updated their MQI series lineup with a new two-person performance model. Compared to the rest of the M lineup, the MQI GT received better performance specifications as well as an increase in overall size dimensions, new 14-inch wheels, and optional wraparound steel bumpers. The scooter's sporty performance is supplied by a 3,000-watt hub motor that is good for reaching speeds close to 45 miles per hour. MQI GT is to be factory equipped with the fourth-generation Niu Energy Lithium battery. This 48 volt 31 amp hour unit consists of two packs and offers a riding autonomy of 50 miles. The recharge time is said to be close to 4.5 hours. The MQI GT has a seat length of 782 millimeters, thus providing enough room for the rider and the passenger, an overall carrying capacity of 590 pounds. Bull E is a limited production electric scooter that was created as a result of an urban mobility design study. Its main objective was to create a modern alternative to already existing urban mobility vehicles that will have a completely new design language and riding position. According to the manufacturer, this scooter received a lean forward riding stance that adds more style and drama to your riding experience while reducing air drag. Lower air drag is said to extend overall riding range. Speaking of range, the Bull E can cover up to 32 miles between charges. This 2000 watt scooter was specially created for low speed, short distance urban commuting, so we shouldn't be surprised to find out that the top speed was limited to just 28 miles per hour. For the upcoming 2022 model year, this Italian motor vehicle manufacturing group has announced a new electric scooter model named The One. As reported in media, this e-scooter will be offered in three trim levels differing in motor power and battery capacity. The entry level model is likely to get a 1200 watt motor and a battery good for 35 miles of riding, while the top of the line scooter is to get 2000 watts of power and the riding autonomy is 60 miles. The One scooter supports two charging options charging at the specialized station or at home through a standard power outlet. The home option will prove to be a hassle-free experience as the battery packs are removable and easy to carry. According to the manufacturer, the youngest generation of riders is the prime target audience of the One Scooter. So engineers keep this in mind and prepared a wealthy technological package for this two-wheeled vehicle, namely adaptable digital color instrument panel, two motor maps, a keyless start system, full LED lights, etc. Segway is an internationally known brand with an extensive experience in production of urban mobility vehicles. Despite previous successes in the field, the company is showing no signs of slowing down and are looking into expanding their model range with three new sit-down e-scooter models. These scooters could be differentiated by specific design cues and technical specifications. The entry-level E110S will be using a 3,000-watt electric motor that is incorporated in the rear wheel. Its battery setup could offer up to 45 miles of emission-free riding. The top-of-the-line E125 SE scooter received more sophisticated premium design features and an autonomy increase owing to the introduction of a dual battery setup. 
Once fully charged, a two-wheeler can be ridden for up to 85 miles. All three models are to be offered on the international market and will have speed limiters set at either 15 miles per hour or 28 miles per hour based on the local transportation regulations. It's time to make the push for electrification of the world. You can support the cause by smashing the like button and subscribing. Thanks for your support and let's keep going. Yamaha E01 is an electric smart scooter concept that was unveiled by this Japanese manufacturer over a year ago. The model will be using an air-cooled DC brushless motor with a power output comparative to the 125cc class. The power will be coming from a lithium-ion battery of an undisclosed capacity. The model will have enough power to carry two persons and support fast charging options. Although the manufacturer has been quiet about the future of this model since its official reveal, there are several indicators showing that the Yamaha E01 will eventually get the production later this year. The looks of the model are truly amazing, so let's hope the production version will look as good as a concept. As the name suggests, Super Soko CU Mini is the representative of the class electric city scooters that are small in size and usually have a budget-friendly price. This urban mobility vehicle is powered by a 600 watt electric motor capable of reaching speeds close to just 28 miles per hour. The installed battery pack offers the estimated riding autonomy of about 40 miles. Luckily it's a removable unit that weighs just 15 pounds, so you can take it home and charge from a regular power outlet. The charging process usually takes about 7 hours. The CU Mini is offered in 4 different color variations and has some handy standard features, namely LED lights, keyless start, smart remote, etc. Upon updating the previous year's Yadia Sea-Line scooter, the Spanish Urbe decided to change its name place into Rizar. The reason is that the Sea-Line was supplied by a Chinese firm, and Urbe wanted to distance the new model from the predecessor. Though Rizar will be also assembled in Asia, Urbet's quality and design department has taken an active part in its development. The scoop gets a new powertrain consisting of a more powerful 1500-watt hub brushless motor and an improved 1.44 kilowatt-hour battery. Visually, the new model becomes longer and wider, while the USB socket has been moved from under the seat compartment to the front tray. The Vector scooter was designed as a zero-emission alternative to modern 50cc two-wheelers that are still actively used for commuting in urban areas. In order to comply with current regulations, this scooter concept received technical specifications comparative to similar models on the market. The Vector has a battery pack that is good for 60 miles of all-electric riding. Since this model was specifically designed for city commuting, the top speed was limited to 28 miles per hour. The company that began the whole trend of personal mobility vehicles with their self-balancing electric human transporter continues to explore the niche. Segway's latest introduction is a driver license free smart moped labeled C80. The daily commuter weighs just 120 pounds and is less than 5.3 feet in length, so the manufacturer even suggests taking it to your storage in an elevator. The bike possesses intuitive two-button controls, simple airlock or NFC tag activation, and smart seat detection that prevents movement unless the rider is safely seated. The rider comfort comes from a two-stage central shock absorber and a front fork, automatic cruise control, and an ABS-equipped braking system. The Segway 9-Bot C80 is perfect for bike lanes traveling at 50 miles per hour to the distance of 47 miles.
Thanks for being with us today. We will be waiting for you in the comments section to discuss today's episode and hear you out about the future topics that should be reviewed on this channel. As mentioned before, support electric vehicles by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel. You can also check out the rest of our electric content by following the links on the screen.